All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy fad day, and welcome back to another relentless recap. Our guy, Fed Chair Jerome Powell, is talking right now, and oh, and these guys have decided to pause on the rate hike decision. So that's pretty good for us, right? That's pretty good, uh, you know. Their plan seems to be working, right? And in combating inflation. So that's good to see. That's good to know. And uh, here in the small cap land, we have something finally worth reporting on, right? We've had a ton of small red days. Um, and we're finally back on the green side of things. And we're fairly green today. A decent green day up 1K. Up 1,000 bucks trading stock c l l s and stock t g t x there we go t g t x this is the main one i want to talk about today uh, as it was an incredible push here early pre-market and some continuation and follow through into the open it's been a long time since we showed any sort of archive so we are going to grab some archive and we will show the incredible move that this thing made and we'll talk about where i was able to get wow. green uh so before we do jump into it guys just remember that trading is risky all right do not think for one second that this is the type of field where you can just come in without knowing anything and make millions you know it, it may have may have happened to some people just out of pure luck but 99 percent of people will lose so it all comes down to taking time to learn right you know paying your tuition to the market essentially right and you can do so uh for very cheap whether you're using a simulator or a small amount of cash that doesn't affect you if you lose it because again trading is hard trading is risky other than that always remember the live streams and recaps are not an, an invitation to copy trade there's a formal way of learning which we can talk about a little later in the video lastly remember i do not invest for my subscribers a lot of fake accounts popping up and talking about copy trading, mirror trading, uh, Telegram, WhatsApp. I don't use any of those platforms, guys. Be safe. Be careful. So, with that being said, let's jump into the recap. So, TGTX, just quickly for some context before we get into the archive. We had a low in pre-market around 789. This thing pushed up nicely. So, that's between 7 and 730 you know all the way to 995 so sweet move it consolidated you can see a volume here though almost non-existent and this is one of the tricky things pre-market is that a lot of the times these stocks are moving and it's hardly anybody trading it all right so volume of course being depicted down here we'll see into the open the volume was much much higher you know 300,000 500,000 shares versus just about three to four thousand shares candle in this area anyhow you know it did its thing it was trending up and it broke over 995 around 9 a.m and absolutely took off and right here had some more volume so this was good pushed up nicely uh i mean this is a beautiful move all the way to 11 pulled back and into the open we're watching for the you guys guessed it red to green right from the red to green and that's exactly what we had into the open you guys know I love to trade uptrending momentum. When the momentum is just like sideways and down, it's a little bit more tricky. Doable, but tricky. Uh, but when the momentum is trending up, for me, this is where I can do my best. And so, we started off uh, with a low of 10. And surprisingly, I actually did not get to capitalize this move here. Or capitalize on this move very well. It's so close, man. A lot of the trades where I'm in and out great trades my timing just off slightly just slightly man if not we could have doubled our gains on this thing in this first move up so i was actually read about 200 bucks uh, i think coming into this red candle right here and finally we based out around 40 40 50 and curled up and so i want to show you guys the trade that i took you know it, i was being very uh scalpy at the lows and i told myself you know what man hey let's just put a stop in place let's wait and give this thing a chance to curl up so i'm down 200 bucks as mentioned right here and 
you know, this is where I'm going to go long, right? So I'm going to jump in right here, 1500 size, small size here. And I'm, I'm going to say, you know what, man, I'm going to give this thing a chance and I'm not going to stop out unless we break down and flush down. And so right here, I'm going to wait patiently. It's going to curl very nicely here. Very nice curl all the way to 80, 85, 90. Right there, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get all out. And so nice quick trade. I have another order entry over here with some bigger size. So I'm watching. If this thing wants to get over 10, I'm going to watch right here. So I'm, I'm, all I want to see is big, vo big volume. Watching for big volume. Not quite. Right there, we want to see the green on the tape printing like crazy. So still watching, still waiting. 91, it's going to hold nicely. I'm back in a little slow there to get in. But boom, nice move. Selling right over 11, 17, 11, 18. Nice, quick trade. This was a lovely setup, an opportunity. And it pushed all the way to 30. So I'm watching here. There's 19. How low can we dip? I'm going to take it. I got a good fill, 22. A low right there was about 15. After the, the, the drop from 30. Right here, I was looking to hold this position longer. Because I thought we were going to make a new high over 50. So I'm going to only get out here for 10 cents again. After I realize it's not going right there. Very disappointing there. Very disappointing. We should have pushed right through 50 right there. There wasn't a ton of selling. There wasn't, you know, unless some short sellers came in. So, you know, from red 200 to green 1K. And, you know, when you capture the right opportunities, that's how quick it can happen. And it also tells you that some areas of the day is very important to capture. Whether it is the first move up in the first minute that we saw, or maybe this particular candle. Because if you're not positioned to be in a 50, 60, 70, you know, and, and the way how this thing pushed up, you might be thinking, man, I wasn't in it 60, 50. I can't buy this thing up here at, at, at uh, you know, 10, 80. Or you might even say, man, I missed 10, 70. I, I can't buy it at 11. It's now it's just too high. So these areas are very crucial. And it's why it's such a fine line. And it's why we'll see a lot of traders, sometimes green, sometimes red, sometimes mixed. Because it all comes down to these key areas. You know, sometimes you might have left to, to do something. I mean, who knows, right? You could have sneezed at the beginning of this move. That, that's how crazy it is. Sometimes you miss the move, right? Uh, so when we're here, we got to make sure we're, we're being very attentive. And we also have to pay, you know, a lot of attention towards the setups and entries that we're seeing. And we have to be confident because, you know, there's there's a lot of um, areas and, and moments and points in time where fear can come in and, and we're overly cautious or we're just afraid to take the trade and we missed the entry and so ladies and gentlemen that was the trade of the day unfortunately we did give back profits being aggressive here thinking we, we'll get the continuation and you know most of it was just not getting great fills and you can see how fast it's moving from 14 to 25 on the bids almost instantly so me trying to trade that you know resulting in some higher fills and uh, taking some losses. So the other stock that we traded was CLLS. And I was green over 500 on this one. Ended up giving back profits. But I was watching at it after this breakout here. So unfortunately, I was here again, man. I was here doing other things. And in the side of my eye, I finally realized, oh, no, this thing has pushed up without me. And, you know, sometimes it, I, I got to do a better job, man, because trying to multitask, and I spoke about this so much in the past, right? Trying to do other things and still trying to keep an eye on the market. You know, it, for me, being here, knowing I can do other things, you know, kind of pushes me into that mindset of doing other things. But also with trading, sometimes it, it's at a moment's notice. Boom, you know, a stock like this can reject the VWAP and looking like, man, the second rejection we're going to sell off again and come all the way down to the lows, perhaps, you know, down here. Right. But instead, this thing holds up. It holds up tight and boom. And if you're not watching at every moment, you're going to miss that type of move. And that's what happened to me. So, you know, such a sweet breakout, man. I mean, 
this is what you like to see. So break of 250, you know, break of VWAP again. And for me, I would have been in a little closer to 250. And this thing erupted all the way up to uh, 68. So I missed that move, but I started watching the consolidation. And right here is where I was able to get myself green. You know, being in a little lower here, coming out a little higher. And after this sell-off and, and, and the buy-up that we had here in the bottoming wick, I'm like, you know what? I, I typed in Discord. This thing is not over. And I'm a little disappointed in myself for not being more confident in this area. I had the instinct to buy here aggressively and just hold. Didn't do it. I ended up being a little too cautious and, you know, ultimately didn't get to position myself properly to really dominate this trade. But we ended up scalping a small opportunity in there, getting some small green, but we could have done better in that area. So it pulled back and from here, you know, much of the same. Uh, but, you know, we really wanted to see a break of $3 over here. So we had a huge, this is a massive pullback. But I love that it held up the, low, the lows right here, right? So again, anybody really watching at this and, and, and you know, trying down there, whether it's big size, small size, there, there's something there, right? We bounced up, pulled back slightly right here. And then again, you know, so I was watching the extension. And I wanted to see this push so bad. And this stock had, has the ability to move quickly when it gets ready. But unfortunately, it rejected it. And, uh, you know, in terms of pattern, I, I do want to mention here that we had the cup and handle, right, right here. Um, well, excuse me, rather, ABCD more so. I mean, a bit of a cup and handle too, but ABCD, the W, right? We come down. We have our lows. We tried it VWAP, kind of rejected. Higher lows. And then the second time over here is where we pushed up. So that was pretty good to see. And from there, you know, some consolidation and then we tried for the new high so again this is why i really wanted to see like 350 out of this but you know maybe in, in power hour maybe tomorrow right maybe after hours we'll see something but guys that was the day you know this month we told ourselves you know no excuse uh we got to be a little bit more sharp we got to be a little bit more uh decisive and and for me that's the main thing on the month like being being too hesitant ultimately um, you know, a lot of people don't really think about it, but something so simple like that alters the strategy so much. This is a very fierce strategy. You have to be courageous. You have to be brave and you got to be quick with the trades. And so, you know, me hesitating and second guessing and, and th overthinking, you know, all of that is what leads to so much chop and inconsistency. So, you know, no matter what it is this month, we're looking forward to staying firm with our consistency on our side. So we're going to be brave, we're going to be courageous, we're going to be quick, we're going to be decisive, and we're going to analyze as we trade, hey, what's this stock doing? Where is it likely to go? How are the indicators looking? And, you know, really mastering and being, uh, you know, firm with the foundation, we can get to where we need to be. So looking forward to tomorrow, you know, I'm always ready to go. You know, I, I was born ready. And so, you know, despite having some hardship, I'm looking forward to ending the year on a high note so that being said you know you guys know what it is over here we're relentless oh wrong side we're relentless we're as relentless as it gets baby so hit that thumbs up catch you guys bright and early again tomorrow morning if you haven't seen the monthly recap it is out check it out uh and leave some comments down below let me know how you guys did it on the month yourselves all right Stay safe, stay green. It's been Relentless Trader. I am signing out. Hit that thumbs up. Catch you later.